Configuring a SCADA project can be a long process. Are you looking for a faster, more efficient way to get your project up and running? In this video, you will learn how to do this just using the power of equipment introduced with SCADA Expert Visio Cytec 740. After installing the software, get started in only three steps. Create your first project, create a piece of equipment, and display the equipment on a page. After installing Visio Cytec 740, the first step is to create a new project. When creating a new project, you can use a starter project. Here I will create a project called Sample and select to use the StructureWare widescreen 768 layout. Each starter project is designed to have the configuration initialized so it can be run immediately, but I will add some equipment first. Visio Cytec 740 includes a new equipment editor. The StructureWare starter project includes a sample equipment type for a motor, which I will use. I will create a new equipment instance in the project for a motor. I will choose to use the default I.O. device for the starter project and specify a prefix to use for the tags of the motor. I will also create a second motor in the same way. I will create the instance and then set the instance properties. The equipment editor can now be closed and I will save the changes. The next step is to run the update equipment to automatically build the associated configuration for each motor from the motor type. Now I will create a new page in the project and I will select to base it on the normal page template. As part of the product there is an example equipment motor genie that I will use to display each motor on this page. The genie just needs the full equipment name, the other fields are optional customizations. As I am using an internal I.O. device, and this is a test project, I will also use the test genie to list the tags for simulation. I will use the same genie to display the second motor on the page. You can see how a single genie can be used to animate multiple instances. Now I will save the page as page 1 and then compile to check if I have any errors in the configuration. That's all good, so the project can now be started in runtime. As this is the first time I have run since installing, I have to run the setup wizard. The setup wizard is used to prepare the PC for the mode that it is operating in the SCADA system. I need to enter a server password for my system. Now I can start the runtime. The starter project includes default pages such as the alarm page and the trend page. The template has a default navigation menu shown on the right side of the page. There is also an equipment view on the right side. So if a page link has been defined for a piece of equipment, you can use the hierarchy to navigate pages. As I have not yet added my new page to the navigation menu for the project, I will use the default page list. Here you can see that the two motors are now animated on the page at runtime. The Motor Genie has a default control pop-up defined that I can access by clicking on the motor. The pop-up has a default set of tabs that can be easily extended to include specific pages for your equipment types. The first page provides control buttons. I need to log in to access the default control privilege. As I have not yet added any users to the project, each data project has a role predefined for administrators of the PC, so I will use my Windows Domain user login. On the control pop-up, the operator can select to start the motor. The starting indicator is displayed until the running feedback becomes active. I will use the test panel to set the feedback and clear the start request. Selecting stop performs the same way. The other controls allow changing the mode of the motor such as auto manual, interlock bypass and out of service mode. If I now trigger some alarms you can see the genie displays the number of alarms active for the equipment. The tag page shows the full list of tags associated with the equipment along with their current values. Thanks for watching. Now you can easily start using equipment for your SCADA system. For more information on SCADA Expert Visio SciTech, 
please contact your local Schneider Electric representative.